One of the biggest concerns this time of the year is the risk for tornadoes. Meteorologist Lindsay Anderson explains why Tornado Alley even exists and what the trend has been in recent years. The United States has more tornadoes than any other country in the world. On average, we get about 1200 tornadoes a year. The second most is found in Canada with only 100 tornadoes. Now, tornadoes can happen anytime, anywhere, but they're most likely to form east of the Rocky Mountains. We have the traditional tornado alley. This includes the plain states from Texas to Nebraska. Some consider South Dakota, but there's another area in the southeast that experienced their fair share of powerful tornadoes and this hot spot is called Dixie Alley. This is all thanks to the influence of the Rocky Mountains, desert southwest and moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Let me explain. The Rocky Mountains run mainly north to south, and this allows the cold, dry air to work its way southward, but also the warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico to move northward. The other factor here is the hot, dry air coming from the desert southwest as it moves in over the mountains and influences the middle part of the atmosphere. There's a big difference here in the moisture content, temperature, but also wind speed and wind direction or wind shear to create the perfect setup for rotating thunderstorms and therefore tornadoes in this region. Now the last two severe weather seasons have been fairly quiet in producing tornadoes over the traditional tornado alley. In fact, each state in tornado alley saw less tornadoes the last two seasons compared to the 20 year average. The last two seasons shown here in white, whereas the numbers in red are that 20 year average. Jenny Pittman with the National Weather Service of Topeka reiterated this for me. 2020 and 2021 were both pretty inactive, especially in Kansas. We only had 17 tornadoes in 2020 and 37 in 2021. Our average is about 85 or 90. Dixie Alley, on the other hand, has reported an increase. Each state experienced more tornadoes the last two seasons compared to their 20 year average. Why is this? Jenny says it's related to a large scale weather pattern. In the last couple of years, I think La Nina has had a big influence. Um, we've had La Nina both last winter and then this winter as well. Um, and that tends to bring an earlier and more intense severe weather season to the southeast US. She also says that it's not so much about a shift of tornado alley, but rather an expansion to include areas who haven't seen as much activity in the past. The most important thing here to remember is to always stay prepared no matter where you are.